All right, folks, the deck is Renounce Darkness Warlock. The goal of the deck is to survive the early game. We can do so with the help of Void Caller and the big demons that set up big taunts to prevent our opponent's big minions from hitting us in the big face. From there, we just tap as long as we can until we can get to Renounce Darkness, play the Renounce Darkness, and figure out a way to win with a random class. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. You stream on Twitch, uh, yeah. I feel like I make that pretty apparent in, uh, in my videos, don't I? Pile Dark Skies. Uh, this is good if I had a Void Caller. I'm gonna keep it anyway. Touch is very good as well. Wait a second. They didn't play the quest line chat. Is it Dead Man's Hand Warrior? I don't want to play that just yet. Next turn, I'll play it with that. Dead Man's Hand would be the absolute dream, but I can just rip the, uh, yeah, it is. Maybe I go even a little bit greedier here. AC, thank you for the three months. So, let's give up a Defile. Next turn, I go here. It draws me from 8 to 7 to 10. Then I play the Renounce on a full hand. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, well, I'm going to kill that because it's weird. I'm the warrior now. Oh. Yeah, I think it's probably Patron. Dark Wolf, thank you for the 100 bits. I hope these are golden renounces. Uh, I'm not that crazy. Weapon? Okay. That is some angry, angry screaming. Explore on Goro or Riot? I've, I've got cards to play before that. I want to see what's actually in my deck. I want to get, like, dragons and stuff. You can wait.
Like, I actually think Explorer and Goro would be very bad because it offsets the cost reduction that I got from uh, the Renault. So I'm just going to work on playing for Tempo right now. That's a lot of armor they just got. But it's funnier? Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that, Twitch chat? I repeat, are you sure? Quiet down. The Explorer on Goro can wait. Because that is the greatest King Mosh anyone has ever played. Does Explore on Gora make you d discover Warlock or Warrior? I believe it will be a uh, Warlock. Warlock. here. I'm going to go in on this next turn. I want to get a little bit more armor though because seven drops are kind of bad. Hmm. I mean, this is their last patron board, right? Wait, what? Oh, okay, I see. I'm glad I held on to this weapon, though. Because again, this is their last patron. Nine drops aren't great. All right, Chad, I've got one mana floating. Oh, I did that in the wrong order. I thought it was a battle cry. <laughs> oh God, that was dumb. All right, they just have all their pirates in. Oh, it's to draw the skippers. So they have another one of those. I look for dragons. Gross. Built more tough. God, I do just do not know what <gasps> any of these cards do. <laughs> Wait, I can buff it with the demon fire. Neek. Thank you for the prime. I'm getting all kinds of synergy here, chat. Elgonoth is not a demon, though. He's not? Oh, he should be. That's dumb. He looks like a demon. Well, this is large. Play around Brawl here. Oh, 
Oh, he, it didn't. I, I, it didn't break because he didn't actually gain life there. Oh, what? No. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's good. Okay. Five mana, ten, ten. This game is. I'm losing my grip on reality during this game. Ah. All right. Here, this now does 10. Okay, well, let's see what we get off of this first. Here. So I've got uh, 10, 16, 21. I need a little bit more here. Might as well just make a 10, 10. Isn't that exactly why you play Renounce Darkness decks, though? True. True. Wait, that watch post actually ended up doing some work here. Oh god, it's still working. <laughs> oh man. Perfectly played game of Hearthstone right there. No mistakes. One hundred percent win rate already. Oh god, this is a very bad matchup. Maybe I can get like a... the demon swap card. Demonic project? Is that the card I'm thinking of? I could also just get a Malganus down to buy me some time. But yeah, I think Demonic Project is a way out. Any plans on uploading clips of shorts on YouTube? Uh, no, probably not. I know the unknowable. See the unseen. Guess this can do something. Oh! Why do you look so young in your profile picture? Well, because as time goes on, people get older. You gotta hold out until after the... Uh I mean, you didn't take the picture literally right now? Yeah, isn't that an old Mitch Hedberg bit? Like, literally every picture is you of when you were younger. I really need them to complete the quest. What are they doing? There you go.
The way this is going, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the demonic project off. They're so slow. Just finish your quest. They're playing into complete and play it at the same turn? Yeah, that's the problem for me, though. can maybe make it harder to like hold cards for the quest oh god they're doing it they're doing it oh you fool Need to be a class that has healing. What did they get? They got a big boy, didn't they? Abyssal. Oh god. Shaman, I need healing. Okay. This This helps. I'm just gonna hear a power here. Because I'm getting abyssal here, right? I really, really need some, um, like, healing rain and stuff. I'm definitely not out of this yet. And it's not it. Possible. I'm still dead, but it's a moral victory, right? Good sign. Seem very good on its own. They're gonna die if they're not careful. What is this play? What? Now it makes less sense. That's not how a taunt works. I know I could have gotten more damage off of that, but I want to be able to trade this over and make more room for the froggos. As you command. 
probably upset from the loss of Davish. Yeah, yeah, but like the, the game's not over. I don't think I could have moved this over. Like, I gave up four damage. There shouldn't be a single card that kills me, yeah. I feel like that was still winnable from the opponent's perspective. Well, we won the unwinnable matchup for a quick 200% win rate. This game seems pretty easy. I don't know what everybody's so always on about. Yeah, just win, forehead. Alright, against Warlock, I probably just want to find the renounce very quickly. Okay, turn three, renounce with the uh, Solarium. Because I think just ripping it here doesn't give me enough resources to uh, deal with the inevitable large threats that uh, Evenlock's going to have. Whereas a Solarium into Renounces has some potential. I think I need to get turned into a priest. That's not a priest. Demon. Okay. Actually, a pretty good hit here. Demon Hunter still good class. Um, is that true? As by a wide margin, the worst win rate in the wild format. Demon Hunter is a class. That Now that I will accept. That is true. Demon Hunter is a class in the game of Hearthstone. Sort of. Meh. 93k, thank you for the eight months. Having a gr nice stream? Hey, I'm playing Renounce Warlock. I'm already off to a good start with it. Your wish is my suggestion. But why, though? Huh? Oh, God.
I don't even know what this does. Also, it damages the minute. Oh. <laughs> I think they were just looking to push for lethal, but. And it leaves them in an awkward position now. We do not want to take eight damage here. On your knees. On your knees. Show's over. Job done. Are you gonna clean? No. Oh! Hysteria is not a card, Job done. but we're threatening lethal. They already played the Zav. I just top deck lethal. No way. Blood Herald lethal. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh no. 300% win rate, by the way. All right, I need a quick break after that one. <laughs> I cannot believe that. Janae, thank you for the 100 bits. If there was ever a deck that didn't work, try it today because RNG is in that. This is making up for the past like two streams, I think. Um, I'll be right back.
Pretty sure that was four games and not three. Pretty sure that um, I have the count right in front of me. Do I ever keep for Murlocs? I think I do. Sense Demons is also very good. Glad I kept assuming Murlocs. I might need to save this for after the uh, the Void Caller. I think I care too much about that. I'd rather just get a Void Caller online. Oh god, I missed. <laughs> That's okay. I've still got the uh, Danks guys. I'm going to take some damage here, though. Yes, I am. My god. Uh, I think I want to draw off of the Tiny Fin. Poor guy's going to die anyway, so might as well get another card. Has to hit a void color now. Perfect. I can touch that. Oh, I can't. Oh, no. Like at this point, <laughs> I don't even need the void color. We should be able to go in with the uh, renounce soon. Thanks. Yeah. I can't make a one, can I? Just pitching these away next turn, so as long as they're not demons, they don't matter.
Why no DK Goldan? Because uh, it doesn't make sense with what the deck's trying to do. It will just get converted into a card of a random class anyway. Pretty good. Suddenly Razak is priest? Oh my god. Wait, I should have held that. I didn't even see the uh, Anduin. Is this online? Oh! <laughs> this is four games in a row. What is going on right now? I will find you. The light has betrayed me. Oh my god. <laughs> this deck is just a highlight reel. Easy game. Is this deck good and should I build it? Well, we have a 400% win rate, so very clearly it's the best deck ever in the history of Hearthstone. But I'm really banking on you disconnecting. I think it is a um, bot. Oh god, not mage. Oh no. No. How do I beat Ignite Mage? I probably don't, so just look for stuff that beats Secret Mage. Rip win streak. Hey, I thought it was done when the um when the odd hunter showed up but i found a way another happy guildy oh god i there's no way <laughs> what's in here I know the unknowable. See the unseen. grab the rod here really need um, Chaos Gazer or Demonic Studies. Oh, no 
Opponent trades once, well, GG. Yeah, I mean, that's I have no win condition in this matchup, so that's exactly how this goes, unfortunately. I think you hit the trade 15 cards quest. No, it's Ignite Mage. They're going to win in two turns, and there's nothing I can do about it. All in due time. Famous Wild Hearthstone streamer, get me out. Thank you for the 37 months. Ignite Mage has this many tradables? Yes, because it doesn't want to run minion or uh, spells that aren't. Alright. YOLO! Okay, we got Paladin. We just need Rebukes now. I could give them this and then lose the game on the spot. Well, it's nice knowing you, chat. I mean, this would be very good in most other situations. Tomorrow, made a really good dude paladin game here, too. The only non-fire spells ice block? No, they've got um Ugh. I've got mana biscuits as well. Hatches notes, thank you for the gifted sub. Appreciate that. I'm surprised I'm still here. Fritzel, thank you for the gifted sub. Like, why hasn't the opponent bothered to kill me yet? Seems like a misplay. Are they just, like, banking on that uh, ice block to do its thing? That's a card draw. Do they not have the Shandler yet? What is going on? Seems almost impossible that they wouldn't have the combo yet. But giving away both 
of those seems old. Yeah, even without the Chandler, giving up the first flames just seems wrong. Do I need to hit the rebuke the turn I pop the block? These are due back tomorrow. Okay, Rebuke or Oh My Yog would be the dream here. Got neither. Don't do anything. They've likely got another block, but they're not actually making that much progress with the tradable minions. They. They just keep drawing the tradable minions off of the tradable. These are due back tomorrow. That seems like a bad idea. You do not want to give me board space. There you go. I mean, they're only halfway through their deck. Because they've only hit the Dungeoneer and the Witchwood Piper as, like, card draw. Watch them hit it off the top, though. Another happy healing. No. What's going on? Oh, they hit it. Maybe because of the tradable, they don't have the APM, though. Oh, they're running two ignites. It's over. Time though, there's again the rope isn't synchronous. It's it's over. They have more than enough time with two ignites here. Wasn't even close. Rebuke could have gotten us there. Well, four and one is still a pretty good record with this deck. I... Oh God. Um, let's keep the board clears for warrior. I think I don't really need to deal with one ones as much as I would like a cobalt here. 
What were they thinking making that card? What card? If you're talking about Ignite, there's nothing inherently problematic about Ignite. It's a meaningless card on its own. It's the interact like Apprentice is the card that does it. It always it is, was, and always has been Sorcerer's Apprentice. This is probably a little bit better for me than uh, like regular Pirate Warrior, but the problem is they still have the inevitability. not like that concerning but I probably will just remove it because I can Hoping they didn't have a one mana pirate here so that. <laughs> Wait, what about the Ankar? You have cards on the opponent, but that's going to change as soon as I get the anchor down, which I imagine is this coming turn. That's a way out. Oh my god, we could do this. You find it difficult to focus on both chat and game? Uh, sometimes. Oh my god. Dump the other pirate. Dump the other pirate. Coward. All right, it's at best a 50-50 here. I don't know what this card is, but... Easy Rokara hit. <gasps> two for two today. Now I just need to find the Renounce. GG, it's not over yet. Opponent has a fatigue lead and a hero power that uh, continues that fatigue lead. But it absolutely makes it an easier game from here. Tap and double uh, hit. Just go here. I'm sure they're going to play something from hand, right? So what I want to do is go here, then here and here. Next turn. 
So that gives me a bit of a fatigue buffer. Start with this. Did I grab the healing as well? I think so. One less card for four health. I could even tap. Go into the renounced turns with a relatively full hand. That is a really good hit. I can shuffle that in next turn as well. Maybe I should have even held back on that with that in mind. But I don't think it's easy to remove, is it? Okay. I mean, that took uh, quite a lot of cards from their hand. This may be a little bit on a, like... Bad. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's a reason to play Omayog oh here. Nor the uh, Judgment of Justice. Yeah, I'll just double up the rag with the Sathavar. Wait, Gore, how's the... They drew that from their deck. win this by pacing out my resources better than the opponent and we're off to a very good start with that so there's no reason to play the goody two shields here what are they holding Brawls, maybe? The best defense is a great defense. Reporting for duty. <laughs> Round two. That was bad sequencing. With a whisper, chaos. I wasn't going to play the uh, Omayog until I thought more about the Brawl. Do I have Rattle Gore? No. I don't. Then again, I wouldn't have expected a Gore Hell, but Rattle Gore doesn't really make sense in this deck. That's worth playing here. Let the light you, as it I'm 
Not sure what the opponent is waiting for. Oh, they're looking for a cheap spell before the brawl. That makes sense. Or before any of the removal. Wow. One mana counter spell, am I right? Oh. Oh, God. Okay, that's actually good for me. Not that. But them drawing cards is... Maybe not the thing they want to do here. Holding the rag is a uh, like hedge against fatigue. I will their that is just unbelievable. There goes your luck for the rest of the year. Hey, hey, I paid my dues the past couple streams. They were quite brutal up until today. Or my luck has been, rather. That can't feel good. Bladestorm? Even that's bad. Oh god, no way that's a shield slam. Oh, that's so expensive. Seven life and a and a swing and a shield slam. There we go. Been playing around Brawl for a long time, but they haven't had it yet. I don't know. It just doesn't seem correct to overextend into when I don't have to. I'll give that a chance to get corrupted next turn, um, but like 15 damage is still just a lot whether or not it has lifesteal. I don't really need healing unless we start actually getting to fatigue. But they're just playing blanks here. Okay, let's do that instead. Or in addition. The 
battle. I think this is our opening. I mean, even with a brawl, they're still in big, big trouble. God, I love this deck so much. Was that five and one now? Yep. Rafa, why don't you make predictions about the game? Because that is not something that is a priority for me. I have a great many things on my mind when I'm streaming, and predictions is not one of them. The mods do it when they're here, but... Or when they feel like it. But it's just not important. Compared to the other things I'm doing. Yeah, and like predictions can end up being obtrusive in chat. We have turned our curse into our strength. What inevitably ends up happening with predictions is the mod that was running them leaves and then chat just screams for the next 30 to 40 minutes about how they need to pay out the last prediction. I think I want to try and get to the Void Caller. Because Void Color into Malganus is pretty good. I know the unknowable. It's a fun card. Unseen. Uh, all of these are demons, and that's unfortunate for me, but I can get the Flame Imp out of hand. Problem is, they get online much quicker than me. Not if they do that. Did not seem like a minion that was worth a uh, green soul there. I missed both void colors again. That is. Oh! That was unlucky. for draw them. Guess we just tap here. My hand is full. Uh the overdraw unfortunately. It's also kind of like a mana burn. This is my suggestion. It's a unfortunate Zephyrus for them. Yeah, I just need to dump cards here.
Gets me closer to the renounce. While adding a bad card to the opponent's deck. Unfortunately, it also gets me closer to fatigue, but I don't think that's where this game is going. Can Zeph offer the 1 3 3 1 win for your guy? I think that Flame Imp is just better in every situation, so I don't think he would. Surprise plot twist didn't make the cut. Plot twist is minus one card in my hand. Doesn't actually help the deck without the quest. And the quest is bad. Why are people running skulking guys? Do they like losing? They think it matters against uh, quest hunter. Doesn't it help you find Renounce though? Yeah, but so does Life Tap. Like, if even if I find Renounce, like it still means that I renounce fewer cards. So like, as somebody that's played a lot of Renounce Darkness, I can assure you it is not good in the deck. Like, I think chat's just overreacting to the fact that uh, both renounces are at the bottom nine of our deck right now. This is a very uncommon situation to be in. Doesn't matter what we pick here. Well, I guess I should have done that earlier in the turn, but I kind of want to get the taunts down so I don't die to uh, Battlemaster. I got outrageously unlucky that game. That would have uh, been a very different game if I had actually hit one of the... Like, it was a 25% chance and a 33% chance to hit double um, Void Lord like that. That was an outrageously unlucky game, and if I had hit one Void Caller earlier, I would have had the taunt earlier and been able to renounce earlier. I think that was just a disaster of a game. But I've gotten absurdly lucky throughout the stream, so I'm not going to complain. It's a good opener. Oh, it's another odd version. Using two mana isn't a massive amount of mana. I don't know what metagame you're playing in, but absolutely it is in the year 2021. I don't think that the card is absolutely and utterly garbage, I can assure you. <laughs> Again, I've played a lot of this deck. It does not want plot twist. Grab your cutlass. Let's buckle wash. Someone's got to lead the charge. Through patches. 
for no patches. Uh, let's just clear that. Can the deck win without Renounce very often? Uh, I mean, it depends on what you mean by win without Renounce, but it's irrelevant to the conversation. I'm just gonna Dark Skies that. I don't want to get farmed by a 4 1 that I can't actually run the Void Color into anyway. Turn is Void Color Bellbolt. And I am going to play the Void Color first because I do want to damage it to uh, make it easier to break. And then the Solarium refills our hand. And we're in business. Yosalak, thank you for the 10 months. So I took a while off the game because pre-banned seeds burnt me out. Any other changes that affected wild happened since then? Uh, quest lines are still strong. that uh i want to draw first then shuffle so i have a better fatigue buffer then we renounce i don't really care about the 2-2 as much as i care about another card in hand it's this Oh, we got a card that can make us lose the game. <laughs> That's exciting. I have a here's a fatigue buffer. All right. Actually got some good pressure here. It's an odd questline warrior thing now. Uh, yes, but it turns out it's not very good. Well, that makes it better. Hmm. I forgot about this. I need to close the game out pretty quickly, aren't I?
Like, this doesn't actually help because the opponent doesn't need... Jeez. The opponent doesn't need to play cards to win from here. Unfortunately, no trees. Remember when Transform Your Treants was a real deck? Uh, no, because that never actually happened. It was never more any more real than it is now. At least. The only time Aviona's gonna do anything. Or the closest she's gonna get to doing anything. Ninety-six, thank you for the ten dollar tip. I would like to see the Aviana in play, Mr. Streamer. Well you got your wish, I guess. Are you kidding me? The first one killed me. Not that it really matters which one killed me, but that was still ridiculous. Maelas, thank you for the sub. Gifted sub, appreciate that. Sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly. Chasing Chains, thank you for the prime. I'm gonna keep this, just look for a void color now. Got one, nice. 
Hey, happy to hear that. I hope you're enjoying Wild. It's a very good hand in this matchup, from what I can tell. I'll just, uh... Really will I? I just want to tap. Good draw. I can heal after the Void Caller comes down. That's good for helping me find the renounce, or helping me find a full hand once I get to the renounce. That's not a good card. So, set it up to die next turn. That slows them down on their quest line. Um, I could look for Demonic Project again off of the Twisted Knowledge, but it's probably not necessary. Is their anchor? To the void. Nice. I wasn't done yet. <laughs> Coward? I wanted to renounce the darkness. Warlock has been pretty tough as a matchup. It's gonna keep the Void Caller. And look for a big demon and renounce. We have turned our curse into our strength. is not really helpful. Just gonna be tapping most likely. I don't have like big removal, unfortunately. Uh, probably better to tap here. Quadril, thank you for the 11 months. Uh oh, that's bad. Not the wrong. Okay. That one's fine. I don't have a big demon yet, so maybe I just clear that. Tap and clear. This unfortunately gives them the world's greatest raise dead, but...
The low value Zephyrus. It must have a reactive hand or a top heavy hand. Maybe they have raised dead. The raised dead pool would have been best with an Etheron and Gold Sharing Mill, wouldn't it? Okay. More bones to gnaw on. So they did get his F back, but Your wish is my they're just throwing another one away. I don't. I don't know. Here in Defile. Backup demon. Put your faith in the light. I know the unknowable, see the unseen. Doom for everyone. Tyrion's good? Yeah, Tyrion is good. Especially if they're running us off, but there's no guarantee that they are. That could be a mistake. Like, what if they got a we got a Void Lord there, or even a like? This is bad enough, but what if it were a Taunt minion? Oh, okay. Okay.
Willow is pretty good next turn as well. Uh, full clear, but that paves the way for the Willow. And the art from Malganus, not actually Malganus or something. Uh, you might be thinking of Maligos. I'm pretty sure Maligos was uh, Calicos in the original version. Renounce, please. No. I mean, it probably forces them into Reno, right? Guess not. Apparently, Malganus card art is Varamathris? Bar Nailed it. Did have to drop the Reno. Probably a good thing for me. I don't even want to play the Solarium right now. I need cards in deck still. Solarium guaranteed renounce. Yes, but it also left me with zero cards in deck. <laughs> so I'm not sure how that solves the problem. demon in deck still. Made a lot of really bad minions die already.
Oh my god. Okay, well that's the one I wanted to pick anyway, but... Stay on board. Oh no, never going to. Need to find an idol. Uh, idols too. Um, yeah, I'm just dead, I think. Unless it's uh, Carl Malorn somewhere in here. Oh, I needed that. Oh my god, what a bad outcome for me. Like, yes, that's a lot of resources they use, but... Alright. We're probably dead here unless it's something big. Sorry, not to backseat. Sorry, Ruffle. I mean, just imagine yourself in the other position. Would you like to have somebody or multiple somebody's telling you what you should do on every turn? Like, it's just unsolicited advice is widely regarded as quite annoying. So, I guess just keep that in mind. It's a very bad matchup, unfortunately, but, uh, maybe, uh, Malganus can buy me some time and do something off of the Renounced Darkness. This can get me another, uh, Demonic Project. You're welcome, Teddy. it up. But I didn't want the glare because I want to renounce into um, Voidcaller next turn. I'm just okay with this being my minion since it brings out a lifesteal minion. So I'll just play this and draw the sense demons after the void color dies. This beast will not be Is that to get Beardo? Oh god, that's real bad.
for me, that is. <laughs> that means they get to potentially get online much faster than they otherwise would. Never mind, they're dumping all their resources, so maybe it's not Beardo. Can I afford to tap here? Can I afford not to? It's Obama. Well, thanks, Obama. I want to be able to give the lifesteal a plus 1-1. One, one. I'm not entirely sure it's going to matter. Hey, welcome, Tulio. Or, sorry, not welcome. Hope you have a good day. Thanks for stopping by. That's predictable when they dumped his bigger cards. Is it? I don't know. I feel like... Going after Beardo is probably a good bet. I need to get the Malganus off of the uh, wood collar, but I still have to take that off the board. to try again. Oh for two. <sighs> Budget and Hearthstone not compatible. That's very, very Incredibly false. There are a lot of decks that you can play without a lot of cards or without spending money. Uh, there's a Beast Hunter I played not too long ago that doesn't run any legendaries that was alright. Uh, Aggro Elemental Shaman is really cheap. Um, depending on what legendaries you have. Westline Hunter could be cheap. Because it's a, just a two legendary deck and you're fine. Shadow Priest, if you have Benedictus, is inexpensive. True, Ignite Mage has no legendaries, like... Yeah, exactly. Hearthstone is only expensive if you want a lot of diversity, and even then, like, I was free to play for the first five years of playing Hearthstone while I was playing competitively, hitting rank one legend, and I, like, had a wide assortment of decks. It's just, and that was when the game mode was, or the game was far less uh, generous with resources, but it's certainly possible. Just 
Just gonna keep this to refill my hand for the renounce. I've got so much redundancy in early game removal that even if it is aggro druid, I don't like get blown out very easily. Time investment is a huge factor in free to play. It is, it is, and it, especially when you're just starting out because you're kind of, it feels like you're starting from behind, but it's. Like, it's certainly possible. I don't want to draw off of that because I want to be able to play this next turn. I think I need this to be Jade Druid to have a chance, but that's asking kind of a lot. Miss the Void Caller again. That's really bad for me. Oh, I guess I don't get to play this game. That's too bad. Need Plague of Flames. Gotta hope they don't have the alignment. It's like they don't. So that's great news for me. Need to figure out a way to deal with that though. So they definitely have a dragon in hand. This often clears, but probably isn't good enough. I were convinced this would be able to survive, uh, hey. I'd be more inclined to play the Curse Blade there. Commencing. Battle commencing. 
Gotta kill the panther. Fortunately, like, I don't have a great card or great anything to play once uh, they do go into alignment mode. Okay. Actually, better for me. Should have tried to buff this. They go into alignment, all of your cards will cost zero. That is not true. Unfortunately. Be renounced after they would, right? Nope. Text on renounced darkness would suggest otherwise, since it's written as a sort of recurring effect. Uh, it's not, though? And, like, also, even if it is, um, Celestial Alignment is also a recurring effect, and since it's more recent, it takes priority. Yeah, exactly. Re Renounce doesn't reduce cards off of Discover, so... I, like... It very clearly won't happen. I think if you renounce after, they'd be one. If you renounce... Or if you renounce first, they'd be one. If you renounce after, they'd be cost zero. No, if I renounce after... They would cost um, one less than their original cost because they would, didn't exist at the time when the Celestial was played. So they would cost their normal cost, like this would still cost six. No, it's not true, guys. That's wrong. That's not how the cards work. <laughs> Renounce. Yeah, you would replace all of your one mana cards with different cards from a different class that have random costs, one less than their original cost. Is chat trolling? I, it's hard to tell sometimes. Hopefully this is enough armor to hold, but it's unlikely. I haven't seen a single swipe or UI, so... 
Also, notice how my cards cost one. Wait, do they not have enough? Top foe, thank you for the two months. Yeah, they've got enough, right? Wait, they don't have mana. They need a ramp spell? They don't have it. Oh my god! Best ball man, eh? What a blunder? I mean, I don't know if it was a blunder, they just ran out of playable cards. Okay. They just used all of their ramp before the uh, the combo turn. If they had Alex first, you were dead. Didn't they have armor still? They, when they Alexed me, they still I still had armor. That is a wild and out right now. The fatigue's because of the UI. What, were they just not supposed to take the 15 damage when they had it? That... Not playing the UI with there was worse than playing the UI there for sure. I've got enough sources of three damage. I think I can give this one away. Can't get over the bomb still? Yeah, the opponent got unlucky. That's really all there is to it. I got lucky, they got unlucky. They didn't... Like, you could argue maybe throwing away some of the ramp spells early was... A mistake because then they didn't have them on the combo turn but other than that like the combo turn was fine they just were out of ramp I've got uh, Dark Skies into Coin Sense Demons, or I can School. Looks like it has to be Dark Skies then. Wow. Play the top decked one. Job done. Set sail! The juggernaut is under my command! Cutlist, let's buckle swan! 
Unfortunately, we still get the distinct pleasure of losing this game. Maybe if this gets me a void caller. Good ticket. Don't come cheap. God, we're taking 11 right now. X marks the spot. Glory. I'm here for the call. Crawl. That order is not good. And that's why. Alright. Potentially bailed out here. Start here, see what we get. As healing. Oh. I don't have a single overload card in there. Come on. Whoop. You didn't want to take a 50 50? What is going on here? mistake. I should have checked this first. Need to find a taunt totem. Oh my god. Can't die. Really? In a box? Mm, pirate stuff. Someone's gotta lead the charge. Smite it now. That was just not good order. Oh god, the healing totem is good here. Just don't snipe this twice, please. Give me at least eight more healing. Thank you. Still need some help. I don't know what spell can save me, though. Wait, they also got an anchor off of that? My god. <laughs> okay. 
We need to get value off of that, both of these, I think. Did they intend to heal you to full? I don't know that they had much choice other than, like, kind of have to kill the, uh, the canal slogger, right? Well, that was not necessary. I need a big AoE spell this turn. Not it. I did not know what that card does, apparently. But it doesn't matter, I've lost this game already. No big spells in the deck, otherwise it would have been drawn. I mean, there's five mana spells that I could have, as well as uh, some of the three mana spells, like Elemental Destruction could have done it. So big is uh, relative. Big is in value, not uh, high cost necessarily. I mean, it's understandable to go into autopilot mode when you are a pirate warrior with the Juggernaut out playing against Renounced Darkness Warlock. 